Srinan Vasiju from Life Uncut. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple and easy water fountain you can make without using any electricity. So let's start the video. For this experiment, you will need three bottles and their caps and you will need a few straws. Firstly, we need to remove two bottle tops and stick them together. I'll be using a glue gun to stick these two caps for me. Now I'll be making two holes. They should be about the size of the straws because we will be passing the straws through these holes later on. I've made two holes uh, which the straws can pass through. I'm joining two straws together to increase its length and I will be securing it with glue. Now I'll pass two straws through the, these holes. And I'll put it into the bottle. Once one straw should be about one inch from the bottom of the bottle, and the other straw should be a little down, not a lot of it. Now we'll fix it properly. Now I'm making a hole. made the hole now I'll pass it through and twist it in now we'll be making two holes in this cap and now I can take the bottle top that we made two holes in and carefully put it there now I'm going to put another straw through the second hole. Keep it one inch of the connection of the two bottles. And uh, I have reinforced all of the joints with the uh, hot glue. Now I'm going to cut the top of this bottle. I have finished cutting. We only need this part of the bottle and we'll connect it to the top here. I have extended this uh, blue blue straw because it needs a little more height. And the connection of the fountain is ready. Now we are finished making it. So one some things that you should make sure is that there is no everything is closed and secured properly. There should be no air leakage. So let us check how it's working. So first we will add water to the top and the water at the top will go directly to the bottom and we will keep adding until the bottom is full. So now we are charging the fountain by moving the water that is in the top bottom bottle to the top. Now we'll add some more water and it works. You should remember that this is not a non-stop fountain. When the water level in the second bottle decreases, it will stop working. So when it decreases, you should charge it again like this. You 
can hear the sound of air moving out of the bottle. This fountain is also called Heron's fountain. The working principle behind the fountain is when we add water at the top, the water goes down due to gravity. It creates a pressure in the bottom bottle. That pressure is transmitted through the pipe to the second bottle. That pressure pushes the water in here out through the top. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, hit subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you for watching.